What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We're finally home after three weeks of traveling from Paris to Colorado Springs for the team trials and then later to Madrid for training with Sandra and Jesus. I'm glad to be home working on all the things that I learned and now it's time to take you on a little journey. So guys, we just boarded the plane. We're gonna go to Madrid. I'm here with Moser. Oh, right. We're gonna go to Madrid, then we're gonna take a long drive to Talavera for training with Sandra and Jesus. Let's make it happen. So while I was in Paris, I found Sandra and Jesus at a restaurant. So Grace and I went there to greet them, say hello, and talk. You know, it's not every day you get to talk with your role models and people that inspire you. So it was great to sit down with them and talk. And then we ended up talking about Paris and the competition as a whole, how I did, and they thought I, I could have won and made it to the finals. They've seen my improvement. So at that point, we spoke to them and asked them like, hey, do you guys have any availability at all for some private one-on-one -on -one training anytime soon? And thankfully, everything ended up squaring perfectly so that right after team trials, I was able to fly and meet with them and train with them for a week. We made it, let's go. So Sandra and Jesus, they just picked us up. They're right there. They're looking for their car. Yes, we're gonna go eat some breakfast. I'm with Sandra and Jesus. And we're gonna go find something to eat. So we just got the breakfast. This is a reward for team trials. Yeah. So we got this. This is a nocilla. It is Spanish Nutella. And I'm only eating this because we finished competing. And it's my reward. So let's dig in. I met Sandra in person in 2017. I was a junior, was in the Junior World Championships in Tenerife in Spain. And I made it to the bronze medal match as a junior U21 against Japan. And I remember I did Kurufa, and I used to do Kurufa a little bit different, right? So when I finished my bronze medal match, I lose to Japan 4-1, and I went to go see Sandra and Jesus in the Punok booth, because they were sponsored by them at the time, to take a picture. And then she was like, are you that kid that did Kurufa, the, that different looking Kurufa? And I was like, that's me, that's me. And I can't believe she noticed me. So at that point, I was 19 years old, and it felt incredible that she noticed me, especially since I've been a fan of hers. It was nice to see, like, I remember that guy. You, you're the one that did that crew for things. We just got to the Airbnb. We're getting into the elevator now. We finished eating breakfast with Sandra and Jesus. I was very shy and nervous to record them, so we didn't get a lot of stuff to bring. We had a good breakfast. We talked about stuff. Planning later, we have a training. So yeah, I'm with Mosa and us. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the Airbnb when we get there. All right, guys, we are in the Airbnb. It is massive. We have like a living room area. It is very big, very, very big, very nice. Boom, right living room area. We have the kitchen. Boom, very good. And then very important, we have our washing machine. Washing machine right there. Boom, so we can wash our ghee and we don't smell that. So this is the room. Let me show you guys. Boom. Very nice room, we have a TV. There's a lot of space, a big closet, but I use my own closet. And now, we're gonna go to the bathroom. Very, very nice, very big, let's go. So now it's time to unpack all of our things, organize our stuff, right? And then we can go train later with Sandra and Jesus for a light training session to kind of like shake off the jet lag, even if I feel really good. So yeah, oh, this is our view, let's go. All right, guys, so we finished unpacking. We have our clothes neatly organized over here. We brought a desk over and I have everything there. I have my iPad, our book for all the notes, our bag with our training stuff is right there. And we just finished doing some laundry and we hung it out out here. Remember, we came from Colorado. So this is the clothes from Team Trials, like our, our competition stuff. And yeah, we're all set. Now, I'm actually just gonna lay down do some notes from the team trials before our first training here in Talavera. Literally, we just arrived today and we're gonna also train 
today. The work doesn't stop, guys. We came here to train, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm just here preparing the book for the Spain training, right? We're going to talk about what we did on day one, day two, and so on. And what I learned on day one, the adjustments, the adjustments that were made on day one, and so on. This way, I can keep track of everything when I go home, and then I can further plan my training. Right? This is very important. One of the biggest things I recommend a lot of athletes is write it down. Don't just put it on your phone. Write it down because when you're writing it down, you're gonna memorize it a lot better, and then you go into a little bit deeper of thought of what you're writing out. So at least this helps me a lot. So. That's something that I'll be doing a lot of. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about that, drop some down in the comments below so that we can talk about it or we can even make some future videos about that. But now it is time to go to the grocery store so we can get water because hydration, baby, is key. All right, guys, we have secured the water. We are making some rice. The chef, Lao Mo Sun, is getting it done. We have everything set we even got some coke zero you know zero calories baby our chicken's up there we're gonna do that later oh yeah also got some cereal this is for after our camp is done reward and yeah let's go a quick meal by lao mo oh, let's enjoy all right, guys, we are on our way to training. The actual stadium is right behind me right there, as you can see. Um, yeah, it was only like a three minute walk from our, um, from our Airbnb, so that's really good. But we're gonna get here a little earlier so that we can warm up, set everything up, and prepare before Sandra and Jesus game. All right, we've made it to the stadium. You can see Sandra is obviously very famous here because this is her hometown, and yeah, we're gonna walk inside. Hola, hola. Hola. The first day was actually easy, and uh, you, you, we felt it. We, we, we felt it immediately after. We went through a nice warm up, a lot of keyhole. Then we reviewed our katas from Paris and from Team Trials. We looked at a lot of points that we need to fix and adjust for the future, so it was really nice. We were given uh, thoughts on things that we could do better. They gave us also the way to improve those things, which is great. So I'm really excited for the next few days. And now that we are back in the Airbnb, I am cooking up some chicken for some protein, baby, because we trained hard. So now we gotta eat hard. Let's go. Let's go. This is what you call quality protein, baby. Look at that. That's so quality. All right, everything's ready. Let's enjoy. All right, everyone, it is time to go to sleep. We have taken some notes, and many people ask me, Ariel, what do you take notes about? And that question confuses me because it's like, what did I take notes about? I, whatever I learned, I write it down. I learned this, I wrote, I learned this on day one, and this, and this, and this, and this, and that. I also write what I did that is different to my routine so that I can reflect on it when I go back reading everything that's something very important notes are personal notes are you notes are a reminder of what you want to see in yourself from the work that you just did this is something very important right so the way i take notes might not even work for you one day you'll find out the moment you start writing what you did how you felt what you learned what you discovered what you saw and then the notes are really going to start speaking to you in a way that you can reflect and improve with but yeah, wrote notes about everything we did today, everything I learned, it was great. I'm super excited about tomorrow. I know that tomorrow is gonna be very difficult. So until then guys, good night and I'll see you mañana. Good morning guys, it is the next day here in Talavera. It is 9.30 a.m. We're on our way, 
walking to training. It is cold. It's really cold, but yeah, we we feel good. Time to go. Time to work. Time to grow, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we have made it to the dojo. It's nice and early with the first one here. So now we're going to change and get ready for the first session of the day, which is going to be like the physical slash gym part. Let's go. Morning training was physical and conditioning. Then we had a two hour kata session right after that, which was just pure kata, just repetitions and a lot of repetitions. Again, do it again, do it like this, do it like that. And it's kind of like mind, body, and spirit have to survive as one while trying to do what they want. That was very hard. Something that we, I didn't talk about is, we're performing for Sandra and Jesus. We're performing for the Olympic champion and the coach that helped create a world champion and vice world champion. We're, we're performing for two of the highest knowledgeable people we know, alone. They're only looking at us. There's a, lot, it's a, there's a, there's a lot of pressure, honestly. There's more pressure competing in front of them than competing on the tatami in any competition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, training has concluded for the morning session. I am exhausted. Jesus said it was like an 80% intensity training and it felt like a thousand. My, <laughs> my legs are shot, but we are growing, baby. We did like a gym type of training in the morning and then we did a pure kata session right after that for a while. It was very intense. We did Kiho and then we did a little bit of Ohan. Yeah, and the Ohan we did like some parts 10 times. Like slow hard, slow hard, slow hard, slow hard. Oh my goodness, no break. It was tough. Then we did performances for Ohan Dai. Yeah, it was hard. Now I'm with Mosun here. We're walking to a supermarket so that we can buy some extra food because we have a little bit of a break. Oh my God, my arm is tired, wait. Arms tired. My arms tired. Okay, we're back. So we're on our way to the supermarket so that we can get some food. I want to eat some rice and some chicken because we have like a three-hour break before our next session, the evening training. So I'll see you guys later in the room. All right, some chicken and rice with garlic again. Let's go. We have our Minecraft that we're gonna watch. We're gonna eat, then rest. Actually, I might do some notes. I don't know, but yeah, then we're gonna train. See you. All right, guys, on my way to training again. I just woke up from a nap, too, and I'm very tired, but we gotta work. session of the day was probably the hardest mentally because you go back to the dojo your gi has not dried out yet you have to put on that gi that's still kind of sweaty right crazy and then it's like all right let's start but jesus had his way of working when he trained us that he would warm us warm us up from point a to point z so by the time it was time to do full performances or full power katas we were good and we didn't have to worry about anything mentally. All we had to do was put in the effort. And this is something that's very hard because usually I'm planning out my programs or we're really trying to build something perfectly so that I can train as hard as I can. But having that right there in that moment, all I have to do is push as hard as possible and survive. That was great to have. 
Guys, I am super tired. Training number two of day two has come to an end. We did literally all our katas, exception of one, a lot. But it was it, the, the afternoon session was a lot lighter than the morning session, but still was very tough. I started to get cramps on my legs and everything, but I'm happy because since it was a lot lower intensity, the technical part of it was a lot higher. So I was able to improve a lot of things. So I'm really happy with that. But now I'm in the kitchen cooking. Okay, I'm not cooking. Grace is preparing everything. I'm just sitting down. I'm so tired. I still gotta do notes. Uh, yeah. I still gotta call my mom, talk to her. Cause you know, your son, you have to talk to your mom always. Yeah. See you later. It's the next day. <laughs> it's time to train. Let's go. The conditioning work that I do and the conditioning work that we did over there, their conditioning work is more based solely on kata performance as a whole, as opposed to what I do is my conditioning for kata is for specific parts of kata, right? So yes, a specific part of the kata will improve, right? But when we go to competitions, you're not just competing with a specific part of kata, you're competing with the whole kata as a whole. So it's not trying to get one part a lot better. It's how can I make the whole kata a little bit better? And the conditioning that we did over there really made it so that, yes, we improve the whole kata, not just one part a lot better. And it seems very simple, but that's what we really went through, conditioning for the whole kata as a whole and trying to present the whole kata as one. So guys, we have made it back to the Airbnb. It was a very long day and a very, very, very special day. And I'll tell you guys why. We started training in the morning with Sandra and Jesus. It was great, it, you know, seriously, it was really good. But after that, we went with them to a very nice restaurant to talk, eat, share. And it's amazing to share with Sandra and Jesus, listening to their stories, asking them a bunch of questions eating some great food in this beautiful place it was amazing after that we stayed more we kept talking about just everything you know it's not every day you get to speak to someone that you admire and you look up to and someone that you get to ask all these questions that you have too and it was great to share with them after that we went to their home and we trained in their dojo and it was such an incredible atmosphere the dojo was beautiful with these white and blue tatami 
with this incredible energy and we started training again. Jesus was pushing us hard. So something really interesting that I didn't know about Sandra is when she was younger, uh, starting up athlete, you know, she was on the Spanish national team. She was always told that she's very rough. She's very strong and all she's doing is trying to do it hard and stronger and so on. And she told me that look, she said that looking at me like, that's how you do it. You need to, you know, you need to change. You need to be more flowy, more dynamic, more smooth. And I was like, really? They told me, because the way I look at Sandra, it's like, you're so smooth, you're so fast, you're so strong. And then I'm, she's like, yeah, if, trust me, if I could do it, you could definitely do it because I was worse than you in the sense of like tightness and all that. So when I was able to do kata next to Sandra, I was able to feed off her, her energy, her power, her timing, her rhythm, the, the gracefulness that she was able to project outward. I was there and it was like, I can follow along everything she's doing and kind of grasp the message she's sending out. When Sandra does kata, she's not doing kata for anyone other than herself, but it, you can see it, you can feel it. And that's something that I was able to feel and kind of grab and use for myself when I do Kurarufa. It felt good, especially since I've always been someone that likes to be competitive. And I was like, I want to do it better than you. And I'm like that with Grace. And I was like that with Sandra. It's like, let's do it again. I want to do it better. And how'd you do that part? Oh, like that, uh, okay, okay, let's do it again. It was amazing, it was such a great training. We did some Tabata style training where we did small sections, 12 times a minute. was really awesome and then after that we thought Jesus was gonna take us home and actually we got to watch the Sandra Sanchez documentary in their house with them sharing the emotions of watching it asking questions it was seriously such a special day and now I am home it's very late so I gotta eat shower and go to sleep because I am tired but wow I'm super happy I'm super grateful. And tomorrow we have one more very intense day of training left. So I'll see you guys mañana for more. So the last day we're training and we're like, hey, Cool. It's the last day. Jesus told us no gi, meaning oh, it's gonna be pretty easy. He's like, it's gonna be hard, but you know, there's no gi. How hard can it be? We're not wearing a karate gi today. Like, how hard can it be? So 
So we start off with a trady. And he's like, all right, guys, uh, let's do full performance of Ohan. And I'm like, okay, no problem. It's a short kata, I can do it. Oh, my finish, he's like, all right, all right. This is how you're gonna check your heart rate. So he makes us check our heart rate and so on. And he's like, all right, you're good, do it again. And I do it again. He's like, all right, check, do it again. So this kept going. So I did Ohan practically back to back to back, eight times, 10 times, I don't know. I lost count. This took a while and my endurance was okay. I wasn't uh, out of breath, but it was my muscles that were just drained. It felt like my thighs were shrinking in size. They were getting like dehydrated. And it ended up becoming more of a, I need to relax more so that I can survive. Oh, let me breathe a little different so I can survive. Let me push, but let me not muscle it so that I can survive. And eventually towards the end, as soon as like, there we go, you got it. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. You're, you're dead tired and you're more relaxed. You're more smooth, you're fit, you're faster, you're stronger. And it's like, oh, I see. That wasn't the hard part. We had to do like a circuit type of training for our best kata. Uh, he, he said, he's like, oh, Ariel, you're gonna do Ohandai. Grace, you're gonna do Chatanyara. And we had these like four circuit, four circuits. And they were all intense things, like it was whatever. It was like oh, roping, medicine ball slams, all this crazy stuff, right? We were doing each circuit for X amount of time. I don't even remember, because it was, it, was, it was hard. Go! And we're pushing, we're doing the circuit intensely, da, 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 da. and then we hit the kata parts, uh, the first section, two times back to back, no rest, then we rest a little bit, do the next, next circuit, same section, next circuit, same section, next circuit, same section, next section, same circuit, and so on. And this went on for like 45 minutes. There were moments that it was like, Grace, I want to throw up. I want, I want to throw up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. I, I can't. Ah! <laughs> we had to scream just to survive the, <laughs> the the 30 seconds of resting we had, because even resting wasn't resting. We we're trying to catch our breath. But when we finished that, it was a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> Me and Grace were like, yeah! We did it, we were very happy, we've completed it. I was, the fact that I just had come from a big competition in Paris and then competed literally with no rest in Colorado Springs in a high level USA karate competition. No break, get on the plane, go straight to Madrid. No break, train at the highest intensity that we ever have. It felt, great and it felt really well accomplished because i'm putting in the work i'm doing everything possible to have no regrets i'm doing everything i can to know that i'm taking steps forward in the right direction i'm doing everything in this journey to be the best version of myself i'm not doing it to win a medal i'm not doing it to do this i'm doing it just to become a better version of myself and i know that everything else will come along the way as long as i focus on that it felt great to get through that. And it felt great to spend a lot of time with Sandra and Jesus and Grace and talk about a lot of things, a lot of experiences. Remembering when I met them in person for the first time in 2017, to when I kept seeing them, to when they saw me climbing the ranking little by little. It's like, hey, this American boy is good. He's gonna be good, stuff like that. Um, it just feels nice that I my role models have become 
my friends. Hey guys, today was the last training here in Madrid. Seriously, the hardest training I've done ever in my life. Ever. We did a lot of stuff, honestly. Like we did, I did Ohan, for example, 10 times. Then we did, after that, it was crazy. Then we did uh, some circuit training to improve Ohan. Diet was hard. There were moments I wanted to cry. I had to even use the bathroom. It was hard, but I have to actually pack everything because tomorrow we're going very early to the airport. I know it's been a different type of vlog because honestly, I've been so focused in training. And then after training, I have no energy. And recording everything is hard, actually, believe it or not. But yeah, this is the best we can do here recording wise so either way i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was, a, it was a different type of vlog it was a different type of journey and i'm so happy to have you guys every step of the way but yeah i'll see you guys when i see you so we can talk a little bit more but for now good night